Well, good morning, everyone. We are here at a house to pick up a love seat and a sofa. So let's get to it and see what we got here. There we go, that's better. Now, before you say anything, before you say anything, I went to the scrapyard this morning, but they were closed. Really? Yeah, so. Apparently they aren't going to be open on Saturdays until spring, so. You know, hang in those backs. I'm going to stack them up over here on this side. Right on. Uh. Well, that didn't go. <laughs> that one didn't go as well as I thought. Did you get a price for somebody else for this then? Yeah, I think you called me and then you called someone else yeah. and you called me. What was the other quote? Just 250 that. minimum. Who's that? Uh, junk removal or something. Really? Yeah. 250 minimum. Yeah. See, James, you're not charging enough. I know, man. <laughs> Did you call 800 got junk at all or? No, I didn't. Tell me which way to go. Straight on back, brother. Hey everybody, we are now heading over to a lady's house that has clothing she wants us to pick up and I'm not quite sure what that means, but we're going to head over there, take a look, give her a quote and see if we get the job. Looking at here, so so we have all three wardrobes? Yes. Okay, and we have, they're all full of clothes? Yes. Okay, and the, do the wardrobes go too? No. No, just the clothes? Just the clothes. Okay. Can I open the other ones? Sure. Okay, whoops. <laughs> don't want to stay open, huh? All right, so just, just close. I'm not sure what that is down there. Yeah, okay. I'd have to look. All right. All right, yeah. Pretty straightforward. So were these your clothes or family's clothes? Or? Uh, some of them are mine, some of them were my mother's. <laughs> A little bit of everything. Oh my goodness. So, three closets of clothing. Fairly easy job, right? Take them off, take them off the rod, put them in a box, get them out of the truck, probably donate them. I can't charge you 125 for that. I said that's our minimum. She said, "Yeah, I know." And she didn't she didn't seem to balk at the minimum, but I'm like, "I can't do that." Anyway, I tell her 80 bucks, right? And as soon as it comes out of my mouth, I'm like, "You idiot." Because one thing you may not know is I use a service that helps generate, gives me leads. And if it's a good lead, it costs me $25. Well, that was a lead. So now I'm like, oh, you idiot. 80 minus 25 is 55. Now I can't bring James into that because there's no money left on the, on the bone. There's no money left on the bone. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that job myself there. So the only hope I really have to make any good money is if I can resell some of that clothing, which is vintage. So if you've been following this channel for any time at all, or if you go back to the beginning of this channel, I used to use a Dodge Caravan because that's the vehicle I had uh, at my disposal. And when I got this van about two weeks ago, I said, this van will not have any junk in it. We are not going to, under any circumstances, put junk in this thing. And well, welcome to my life. Yeah, so the video did not take on my, my GoPro. It died right away, I think a battery issue. And so that's all the clothing and stuff from that basement. I'm gonna go back to the property. We're gonna go through it and uh, we'll talk more about that in a minute. All right, guys, we are back home here in my basement and we are gonna be checking out some of these clothes. 
These look interesting to me though. Check these out. These are bell bottoms. Look at those, look, <laughs> look at those bell bottoms, right? And then rainbow stripes on them. And what do we got here? Do we have a brand? I don't see a brand on them. But my thought here is to go through these and like choose 10 vintage pieces, put them on eBay for a week and uh, starting bid $9.99 and just see where they go. Well, there's the brand right there, his. So I think that pair right there has a definite possibility of making the final 10. Let's see what else we got here. All right, next up, another pair of jeans. Definitely, wow, Bep, look at these bell bottoms. Wow, <laughs> just tapers out. What we got here? Petiment, petimento, petimento? I don't know. But yeah, I think uh, I think I could see somebody wearing those today. So save those possibly for the final 10. Oh my gosh, check it out with tags. Straight leg, they're Lee's, Lee misses, size 14, new with tags, or not, you know, new old stock, whatever, $32. Definitely, I think, I would say that's probably from the 80s. All right, we got a box of Clarks here. Those don't look very retro, but they definitely go to Goodwill. All right, here we go, we got some denim. I like the denim. Definitely got a bell bottom cut to it. It's a great pair of bell bottom jeans there. Ooh, what do we got here? We have tags, we have tags. Wardrobe maker, $25. Everybody, this is the last tote. Not a whole lot here. Herald House, no. Got a nice collection of cro crocheted uh, hangers. So, yep. All right, well, lastly, what do we got here? Levi's, hello, Mrs. Levi's. I like to see that. Gotta be from the 70s. Oh my, it's got the big E. See that, you see that right there? Levi's with the big E rather than the lowercase e, that makes this worth a lot of money. At least the jeans, right? So if you have a pair of jeans, check your jeans out in your closet. If you have the big E, could be 300, could be a thousand dollars. So, wow, this is something special here. All right, everybody, out of all those clothes, I wanted to end up with 10 pieces to resell. I'm actually gonna only end up with five. So, even all these items have all the tags and they're, you know, they're still brand new and whatever and they've been worn. Just not a lot of demand for them. Like these Lee jeans, I thought that would be a home run, but you're actually lucky to get 20 bucks for them. But what do we have? We have his, H-I-S for her, bell bottom jeans times two, 50 bucks a pair. This uh, uh, Pendimento, I can't pronounce it, bell bottom jeans, uh, 100 bucks. Bill. No, not Bill Blast. What is this? Uh, Bobby Brooks. Bobby Brooks, bell bottom corduroys, 100 to 125. And then this thing here, the Levi's with the big E, like we talked about, uh, this could be 100 to 150. So those are the four pieces that I'm going to put on eBay to sell. The rest of this and this and that is all going to go to Goodwill. Oh, and one more thing. These things here, you can uh, sell these for about Oh, a set of 12 goes for about 30 bucks. So, believe it or not, these crocheted hangers are worth money. Who knew? Now, all in all, we got paid $80 to do that haul away. She did not give me a tip, but she was a really nice lady. We had a good conversation together, but I still think we made out pretty good. You know, even if I make only 200 bucks on those five pieces of clothing, that's still a nice bonus. So, whoa! <laughs> Why didn't you get this metal out of here, huh? That was something you said you were taking here. Oh. I lied. Will you have time to dump it today? Yeah. I'm gonna have to. Yeah. Are you we walking in there slipping it or what? What are we doing? Getting it off the hook first. 
Here, bring it down to me. To the right, to the right. That's good. All right. And sadly enough, we have to take this to the scrap or to the, to the landfill because we got to have it emptied out for tomorrow. And all that scrap got to go scrap, yeah. Right on. Oh, look at that! Perfect. Oh, son of a gun! What? Oh. Ah. Ouch! Okay, now you watch your foot. Hold on. <laughs> get it up on the first leg. Yeah, let's stop. Hold on, hold on. Let me get down here. All right. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we got a big job tomorrow, everybody. Big office job. $800 truckload. Just set it down. Okay. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Nice. All right, we're gonna get rid of this. We won't be ready for tomorrow. Not even a ton, huh? $35. Yeah. All right, guys, as you can see, we are back at this scrap yard. We're gonna get rid of this little bit of metal that won't amount to much, but we will get us cleaned out for tomorrow's big job. Channel. Oh, short. Ah, short. Ah. There we go. Okay, that's it, boys and girls. All right, everybody, we had only 115 pounds for a whopping $9.20 for that little bit of metal, but that's okay. We got paid to haul it away and uh, not too shabby. Uh, so let's talk about some stuff. All right, so what did I learn from this episode? I learned that our competitor is charging $250 just to show up, that's their minimum. Uh, our minimum has been 125. I bumped it up to 150 recently but maybe there's room there to go 175 or even 200. So we'll probably be increasing our minimum a little bit, but I may also call 800 Got Junk just to see what they're doing for minimum. Uh, also some good news is that I found someone that will price our stuff for the antique mall. So all I've got to do is drop off the stuff that I want to sell. They will tag it, they will put it out and I will collect the check and I will pay them per tag. So I pay them so much per tag to list to tag the item and they actually put it into the booth so all in all it's a great great relationship to have hopefully it lasts and we can continue with that for some time to come all right guys well that is it that's going to wrap up this video our next video we are going to be at the office tomorrow filling up this truck for stage one and then eventually there will be a stage two 
which we get stuff out of the basement and then eventually there'll be a stage three where we're going to be taking stuff out of our house so all in all things are picking up things are looking good for the junk removal business and uh, anyway that's it so take care of yourselves be safe out there and we'll see you at the next clean out thanks for watching everybody